You know, when we think about God's word to us today in His Holy Scriptures and also the message, let us also remember that God has this. God is still in control. God is in control. And let's also remember that the Scriptures tell us that no one and nothing can ever snatch us out of the palm of God's hand. Praise be to God. And that same God who gives us the strength and power to journey forward, even in times like these, is the God who loves us so deeply that he sent us his only son, Jesus Christ, to reconcile us to himself, to pay the price that we deserve to pay, to bear the burden that we deserve to bear. The perfect lamb, the lamb of God, Jesus Christ, on that cross, poured out his blood for our forgiveness, not just one-time forgiveness, as hard as it is to comprehend forgiveness of sins past, big and small, present big and small, and future big and small. That, my friends, brothers and sisters, is a God of unconditional love. And it's out of love that we are invited here this morning to this table of grace, amazing grace. No matter what you've done, no matter how far you have fallen, God will forgive you. He'll forgive me. What we need to do is repent. We need to turn to him and repent. Sincerely repent. If this table tells us anything, it's that Jesus Christ, the perfect lamb, our Savior and Lord, has paid the price. His arms are open wide. And he wants to bear whatever burden or burdens he may be carrying. He can do it. You can't, I can't, nobody else. He can. And he wants to. Please, for your sake and for God's sake, give it up. Give it up. Let's pray to you. Father, we ask that you bless and consecrate the bread and the cup, that you transform them from their common use to the most holy and sacred use by your Holy Spirit, that everyone here who partakes of them would come to a much deeper understanding of your amazing grace than what we have right now that we would come to love you more than we do right now, and that we would commit ourselves to obeying you more than we do right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we make this prayer. Amen. 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 On the night when Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, was betrayed, um, he was in the upper room in Jerusalem with his disciples. And in only a few hours, this is hours now, not days. This is Thursday evening. He's going to be crucified. He knows it. He sees it. He sees it all. And up until that point, Christ and his disciples had shared the Passover meal times before. But this time it was much different. You see, Jesus was about to bring in what we call the new covenant, the new promise. He knew it. And that's why this time with his disciples, again only hours before his crucifixion, he took bread 
And after giving thanks to the Father, he broke it and he said, This is my body given for you. Do this remembering me. In the same manner, after everyone had eaten of the bread, Christ took the cup and he said, This cup is the new covenant sealed in my blood. As often as you drink it, do it, remembering me. You remember the new covenant that Jeremiah, I believe it's chapter 29, verse 31, tells us about the new covenant, the new promise is coming? This is when Jesus Christ is fulfilling how it will be fulfilled on the cross. This is the new covenant sealed in my blood. As often as you drink it, do it, remembering me. Whenever you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you remember the Lord's sacrifice until he comes again. These are the gifts from God for each and every one of you, the children of God.